How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to a very surprising review for Second in Form Bass Dost. If you do want some coins, head over to FIFAninja.com, use a code M89 to get yourself 5% off. Every link that you will need is in the description below. Now this is very surprising for a few reasons. One being that this card is a go machine and I know what you're doing already. You're looking at his pace, 62 pace and his card starts and you're thinking... I'm not getting him. I'm just not getting him. I mean, he's not fast enough for me, but lads, give him a chance. 88 shooting. He knows where the back of the net is, and he does have a few standout attributes. 94 attack and positioning, 84 reactions, and 89 strength. Yes, he's got the downsides of acceleration of 59, sprint speed of 64, aggression of 68, but skill attributes, you're looking at 76 ball control, 92 finishing, 99 hidden accuracy, 85 penalties, 91 shot power, and good volleys as well. He does only have 58 dribbling so his dribbling is quite robotic but if you ignore all of his bad stats and the two star skill moves of course because that is terrible you have a very decent player on your hands because in striker you want your striker to score goals game after game time after time Bastos he does just that. He does the job. And that is what I like about this card because there is like no kind of fuss with this player. There's no kind of fancy skill runs. There's no kind of fancy 1-2 good play. What a strike that is from Bastos right into the top corner. This guy is an old-fashioned striker. He just puts his boot behind the ball, his head behind the ball, and it just flies in the back of the net every single time because his finishing is on point. In real life, he's a goal-scoring machine. On this game, he's a goal-scoring machine. In terms of pros, finishing, like I said, he's a machine. He knows where the back of the net is, and my good God, does he find the back of the net every single time he does have a strike. He's heading. He wins every single header. Now, he's six foot five tall. Head accuracy you see, 99. This guy is ridiculously good in the air. Shot power is great as well. If the goalkeeper stands behind his shot, he's getting took at the back of the net, his strength is great, he can hold off opponents, bring your teammates into play, so his hold up is uh, fantastic, he's basically a good target man, and a target man that knows where the back of the net is, and his positioning's great as well, and this is for kind of two reasons, his positioning's fine for holding up the ball, passing the ball, finishing, getting in position to score the goals, and for the runs across the defender, say you've got a uh, 4-3-3 formation like I have, and I had Farfan slash Blashy Chowski, if I can say that name right, on the right hand side and Triore on the left. What he does do is run across when you're running across with a player and he drags the defence to one side so you've got a clear run on goal. He's very intelligent in that sense but in terms of cons, very very slow. His dribbling is very robotic. It's so damn bad at times but at other times if you do like a quick kind of step over and turn to the side it is okay and his two star skills get on your bloody nerves because he can't even do roulette. So all in all, he gets an 8.6. Lads, he's cheap, he knows where the back of the net is, and he does the job. He's a cracking all-round discard striker, and he's a second in form. What more do you want? Go out and buy him, go out and try him, and let me know how you do get on in the comment section below. Lads, let's aim for over 430 two likes on this video that is very precise and um yeah if you haven't subscribed drop a sub and i will catch you all next time